हेलो गाइज प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस रिलेटेड टू द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अ मेटलोग्राफी स्पेसिमन वंस यू प्रिपेयर द स्पेसिमन एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली यू डन द एचिंग देन नेक्स्ट वी मस्ट रिक्वायर द ऑप्टिकल माइक्रोस्कोप फॉर द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ अ माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर एन वॉट एक्जैक्टली द मेटलॉजिकल माइक्रोस्कोप the light microscope is used for the study of a microstructure you can say optical and illumination systems are its basic elements it is a major difference compared to the biological microscope for materials in fact when i say biological microscope for materials that are opaque to the visible light all metals and many ceramics and polymers only the surface is subjected to the observation and light microscope must be used in the reflecting mode contrast in the image produced result from the differences when the light reflection we are mentioning the difference in the reflectivity of the various regions of the microstructure depending on your etching uh, after the etching depending on your contrast the reflection it is totally different investigation of this type are often termed as a metallography since metal were examined using this technique you can say the subsequent microstructural observation we are calling it as a metallography the major point you need to remember here the reflectivity of various region that is producing in the microstructure by light when you are saying resolution of a microscope resolution means the smallest distance between two specimen points that can still be distinguished as a two separate entities two separate entities you can call it as a resolution of a microscope in this you can say d mean is equal to 0.61 lambda divided by numerical aperture any is numerical aperture numerical aperture you can say is equal to n sin alpha then here lambda is a illumination wavelength light and another one alpha one half of the objective angular aperture we will discuss in the next slide and imaging medium refractive index you can say here numerical aperture in fact numerical aperture is maximum values one theoretical numerical aperture values when operating with the air as a imaging medium imaging medium in that imaging medium you can consider numerical aperture 1 when you are using as a air as a medium then you can say n is a refractive index of the imaging medium between front lens of the objective and specimen cover class you can see look at this picture in this it is shown alpha is one half of the aa complete aa out of that alpha is a one half and numerical aperture of an objective is a measure of its ability what exactly we are trying to say numerical aperture is the ability to gather the light and resolve fine specimen details at a fixed object distance ability to gather the light and resolve fine specimen with a fixed object distance now in this picture various parts you can see this picture where we are uh, ips observation tubes and the various parts of the optical microscope it is sh clearly shown objectives condenser diaphragm 
and the ro rotating uh, xy orientation table and the frame and the light source this is you can and one more thing on this slide we like to say the depth of a focus the distance above and below geometric image plane within which your image is in focus when you are saying above and below in that case this will be image is in focus the basic components as i mentioned in the previous slide we'll go ahead important thing of a functions when we say lamp and a condenser project a parallel beam of a light onto the sample for illumination as i mentioned sample stage table or a sample stage with the xy moment sample is placed on the stage and different parts of the sample you can say uh, you can observe through the specific xy moment capability and the focusing knobs since the distance between the objective and eyepiece is fixed focusing is achieved by moving the sample relative to the objective lens you can move the sample relative to the objective lens function of the another parts objective objective does the main part of the magnification and any microstructure is having the magnified view or magnification objective lens is the major contributor ips forms a further magnified objective and ips they are giving the ultimate magnification forms the further magnified virtual image which can be observed directly with the eyes camera you can say this camera allows the permanent record thus uh, you can say metallurgical microscope is connected with the camera this is modern research microscope it is having they are connected with the computer then the lens magnification when you are saying 10x the total magnification how you can calculate for the individual microstructural analysis lens magnification 10x the objective lens magnification used is a 4x then you can say the total magnification it will be 40x now this is the uh, general uh, working principle of the optical microscope what are the different characteristics of the material we can able to determine by the optical microscope first of all morphology phase distribution whether amorphous crystalline transparency refractive indices dispersion of a refractive indices crystal system degree of a crystallinity and polymorphism you can able to find out now few examples of the optical microscope here you can say this is the microstructure of the low carbon steel you can able to observe some as the dark phases some is the white phases in fact dark and white i mentioned particularly the white phase we can call it as a ferrite dark we are calling it as a perlite region then another one is the pure iron you in fact in the pure iron you can say it is completely covered with the ferrite white region and there some dots if you clearly observe that dots or it is they are the indication of the inclusion or some oxide impurity oxide or sulfide in impurity one more thing when in the previous uh, during the etching mechanism i specifically mentioned etching it will be takes place on the basis of galvanic corrosion when you want to find out the grain size examination first of all you need to consider etching is the important thing without etching you cannot find out the grain size when you apply the etching the grain boundaries 
हैव हायर एनर्जी लेवल दे विल रिएक्ट फर्स्ट देन अंडर द ऑप्टिकल माइक्रोस्कोप दिस ग्रेन बाउंड्रीज दे विल बी एपियर्स एज ए वैली एंड इट विल इट विल एपियर्स एज ए डार्क लाइन सो बाय दिस फिनोमिना और यू कैन से गैलमोनिक करोजन प्रिंसिपल यू कैन एबल टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रेन साइज देन देर आर द डिफरेंट थिंग्स फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ अ ग्रेन साइज दैट वील डिस्कस सब्सिक्वेंटली एट द एंड ऑफ दिस यूनिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंपेरिजन मेथड लाइन इंटरसेप्ट मेथड एरिया मेथड दीज आर द मेथड्स फॉर द ग्रेन साइज एग्जाम एग्जामिनेशन इवन दिस इज रिलेटेड टू द ऑप्टिकल माइक्रोस्कोप यू कैन एबल टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रेन साइज ग्रेन साइज एग्जामिनेशन एज प्रीवियसली आई मैंशन दिस इज द रिफ्लेक्टेड वेन इट इज फॉर्म द वैली एट द ग्रेन बाउंड्री द रिफ्लेक्शन यूर लाइट रेज रिफ्लेक्शन इट विल बी टोटली वैरीज एंड इट विल बी एपियर्स एज ए डार्क यू कैन लुक एट दिस हंड्रेड एक्स मैग्निफिकेशन माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर यू कैन क्लियरली ऑब्जर्व द डिफरेंट ग्रेन साइज this is related to the liquid phase sensing this is the simple you need to understand the whatever this is the optical microscope microstructure it is taken for the mgo2 and the body resulting from the reactive liquid phase sensing then phase identification by reflected polarized optical microscopy this is also one of the example when we consider a op complete optical microscope first of all you need to remember use of a vis vis visible light for the illumination source second thing resolution power it is around 0.2 micron range of a specimen characterized almost unlimited solid and liquid usually this you can say few amount of polishing we are doing at a certain level usually it is a non destructive main use for the direct visual observation and final characterization in the case of the medicine material research and engineering industries and geology ultimately we like to say that optical microscope they are majorly useful for the phase distribution color refractive indices crystal system polymorphism and morphology of the metals now when we say optical microscope is it able to possible to observe the oxide morphology is it able to possible for the observation of the dislocation or crystal defects or crystal systems structures like a bcc it is very much difficult for that it is important to go for the electron microscopy for that this slide can you observe it optical microscope the small depth of a field and low resolution the second picture if you observe this is sem scanning electron microscopy large depth of a field and higher resolution the next lecture will discuss related to the sem